Hello, this is Lionel. Uh, let's try to have an overview of the clickable IDE Qt Creator command that landed in a clickable update since one month, I think one month or two months, or maybe more, because um, Jonathan already did something uh, about it. But I've uh, refactored. Uh, so let's give an overview. Uh, so here. For starting, I'm going to use uh, address book app, which is um, a core app of UB ports, of U Ubuntu Touch. Um, so here is the structure. Now I'm going to launch um, to run the command clickable id Qt creator. In fact, um, Qt creator are going uh, is going to be launched within a container, a Docker container, uh, above clickable. So that offers um, uh, the component uh, path and uh, um, code completion, as you will see. So the first time you are trying to run um, Q ID Qt Creator, he'll, he will ask you if you if you want to if you want to have um, the project set up. So. It doesn't work for each case, but for some it works. That's okay. I think the project is built fine, but you will see that it is not um, it is not runnable the first time. If you just click here on the run button, you will see that uh, it it needs to be set up differently. So. We can see here the deployment phase. Um, the first time is it's longer, of course. Oh, it works. We are lucky. It works. Okay, so it's good for testing. So by r by clicking here, it is the same that when you do um, with the command line clickable desktop, it will launch it, and you can see you can test it, the application. Here, okay. So the interest of uh, having Qt Creator above clickable um, image is to provide you code completion, because it will know all the paths right, to resolve all the paths. You don't have you have full code completion. For example, if I if I choose the the, um, the list, you can see. There is a page QML component, which is defined in Ubuntu components. If I click on it, I can go I inside. If I type F1, I can have the, um, the documentation. And uh, you, you will see some code completion. For example, what's inside context list view. Control uh, space give you some, hi some hints. That's okay. So sometimes it doesn't work. There's uh, some bug uh, accessing the um, the pop-up menu for sometimes of code completion. You you have some bug sometimes. Um, so sometimes it doesn't um, uh, guess the executable common well. So you have to choose that one or the that one. Sometimes it uh, you have to choose that one. If you want to debug C++ code, you just have to switch to debug uh, step. I'm not going to launch it now. And um, of course, you have to be familiar with the build configuration, the run configuration. All is set by default. As you see, environment uh, variable are set here, hard coded here. So you can, of course. Uh, edit them, modify them. Um, what else to say? Uh, I think uh, that's all. So for the moment, the project only um, provide you um, a desktop a run, as you, as a, well, yes. And um, of course, if you want to to run it through your device, you have to use clickable as usual. Well, that's all. Um, ah, yeah, maybe another thing. Um, if I quit here, I just show you 
some things that happen inside the clickable ID Qt creator command. In fact, as you see, you have a user file here. It is um, from uh, it is built from Qt creator. But what what is provided by clickable ID Qt creator is this one this file that is guessed from the clickable uh, clickable JSON. Um, and some other stuff uh, such as the desktop file and he tried he tried to get the executable command the path different path and so on um, so if you want to re retry you just have to remove this and he will ask you again if um, if you want to to guess guess uh, the project set up the project if I say no, he will not do anything. Okay, so I think that's all. Bye, thank you, bye bye.